have to excuse me for the stickers. I've had this car for many years and I have dinged it up quite a few times. So I recently decided to get a whole bunch of stickers from my shop and uh, cover them all up. About a month ago, I decided to invest in a whole hitch rack system for my car. This is an O2 Civic Si I've had since I was like 20 years old. If I went on a, on a ride by myself, I would just take the front wheel off of my bike and throw it into the trunk. I'd put the seats down. Eduardo has a two bike hitch rack over there that he got uh, soon after I started riding with him like a couple years ago. With my new job at the shop, our crew, we like to go out on shop rides in the morning. And so obviously I'm starting to ride more solo without Eduardo. So I decided a month ago that I need to just invest in my own rack. We went on to e-trailer and got my hitch and we got this from Jensen USA. This is the Kuat Transfer V2 uh, one bike rack. We thought that would be a really good option in case either of us wanted to go on solo rides. So Eduardo was the one that installed the hitch. He watched the tutorial video on eTrailer.com and it seemed pretty straightforward. I think he did it pretty easily. He had to drill in two bolts into my trunk. I have some pictures and videos I'll um, probably insert here. Oh, where are you? Oh, oh my god. Did you think it was easy? Yeah. Yes. Very easy. While he was doing that, I was the one that was putting together the rack. And overall, it, it was okay. I felt like the, the instructions were kind of confusing to me, but that was probably just me. Seriously, the manual is so basic, so I, I'm pretty sure it should have been. It'll be, probably be easier for anyone else. Something that I noticed quickly when I opened the box, this piece right here is called the cradle and it actually is damaged. It got damaged by this unit during shipping. This is called the hitch shank. And so I contacted Kuat pretty quickly with some pictures and asked them if they would be able to send me a new cradle um, because it's definitely the damage that's on it is definitely not typical during shipping this unit right here was pushed up against like the edge of the shank and so it caused all these like cuts they actually sent me a new one i just haven't installed it yet they were uh super nice so excellent customer service by kuat um i just haven't installed it yet because what that kind of requires is i have to you know, remove all of these units and then slide the new one back on. So I'll get around to it. But thank you, Kuat. That was awesome of you guys. Another reason why it took me so long to actually get my own rack and everything is because I'm I'm only about five feet tall. So I always felt like I couldn't, um, <laughs> felt like I was too small to be able to, you know, put on the hitch rack, take it off, put my bike on, secure it down safely. Like I just felt like I couldn't do it, but I'm so glad that we finally did um, invest in this because it's actually, it's actually working out really well. My car sits pretty low anyway, so it is helpful being as short as I am to be able to get my bike on and off the rack. I think my bike weighs like 28 pounds or something, maybe 29. I don't know. I've never formally weighed it. It'll definitely help when I park next to like a curb or something for this part. So like if there were a curb right here, I could just step on it and like jump. There we go. I think that's it. I always wait for that final click. Yeah. That's it. The rack also came with this cable lock keys to go right here but i mean come on like really look how flimsy this like i feel like school scissors could cut this it also came with oh where's that velcro strap 
Oh my god. <laughs> you tried to throw that so hard, <laughs> it went nowhere. Also comes with the hitch pin, but no lock, so that is kind of sad. Uh, but Eduardo just discovered that he has a lock that could work on mine, so maybe we'll just use that. So the last thing we want to show you guys is that there's this uh, flip chip feature here. Is that what it's actually called? Eduardo's been calling it flip chip. Flip chip or mountain so this flip chip right here is actually very, very useful for Eduardo's bike. As you can see how my bike sits, um, obviously I have an extra small bike frame, so the wheelbase is narrow um, compared to his extra large. So whenever he wants to use this rack, he just has to make that change and his bike can safely mount. Otherwise, if he were to use it the way the cradle is set up right now, his bike will lean way far to the right and that is sketchy. Let us dismount. I can get a close up though. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Uh oh. I mean, oh, it doesn't lean right. It leans, you're right, it leans left. You want it? We'll do another video talking about Eduardo's rack. Um, we've had that for a couple years, so he'll probably have some good stuff to say. But so far, so good on the Kuat Transfer V2. Hope this video was helpful for some of you out there. Thanks for watching.